what is going on guys we are back road to 300 kilos episode 14 it's been a few days uh it's been my deload week if you watched my last episode i was really looking forward to deload week because last week i maxed out a bunch of stuff i maxed out like my back squat my push press my strict press and it was overall just a pretty hard week and i was definitely ready for the deload week so uh this session that you're watching now is from monday it's kind of the first session of deload week and I'm not gonna lie, I felt like shit. <laughs> my, just my body, yeah, just wasn't moving super fast and didn't feel super strong. I ended up, I went to a professional, like a baseball game over the weekend uh, before this session and we, we did a lot of walking and, you know, a lot of car time in those couple days. And I think just the combination of maxing out the week prior, walking a lot, sitting in a car for like hours i think it all just compiled onto my body feeling pretty rough uh when i started moving around so you know the 70 i think i worked up i think i did four sets of triples uh, on snatch at like 77 and a half kilos and the 77 and a half kilos felt like 100 kilos if you know what i mean uh, if you've ever felt beat up from training, uh, I'm sure you know exactly what I mean. So we had, like I said, four sets of three for snatch. And then we had four sets of, uh, I think, two power cleans and a jerk at like 95 kilos. So not too bad. Uh, we fought through it. I had some light squats. It felt good to squat because I, I took a couple days off. So it felt good to squat. And just generally like move my body around so uh this this episode this episode 14 it actually has two sessions together because you know deload week it's not like the most exciting content in the world you know what i mean i mean the weights are light uh it's just kind of like moving around still trying to feel good still practicing technique and stuff but it's not like out of this world uh lifting you know none of my lifts are but you know what I mean? So overall, this like this this Monday session. So this first session that you're watching is from Monday, like I said, and then the second session is from Friday. And it's kind of annoying because like Monday, it's like, well, it's not annoying, but you have to kind of fight yourself mentally on this deload week because it's like, okay, it's deload week. I should be feeling better than I do. And on Monday, I was kind of like down on myself is like how shitty i felt but then friday my second session you'll notice i i feel a lot better like the lifts are better my shoulders feel good my you know my knees feel good like all the joints and stuff it's like okay this deal of week it was actually worth it so because that's the big thing is it's like man i really hope taking this week of backing off the weights is worth it and i don't you know lose any progress or anything but it's just a week so you're not gonna lose any progress i don't know why I, I just am always i just overthink things that's just the way i am god damn it so here's a here's the 77 and a half kilos for three i just kind of you can tell i mean i'm just kind of moving slow my face it's like i'm just like oh god that hurts yeah because i had that i have i have that a uh, little bit of a bruise on my pubic bone and this week has been really nice for that because I've been able to focus on lifting properly and not hitting that area and it's healed up so I'm ready for these I got four more weeks left on this program and five weeks until my competition so I'm hoping you know this deload week was a nice refresher and I, I can hit these four weeks hard now the only thing that sucks is like work is getting a little busier so you know, i work outside when we when we collect field work field data i work outside i do a lot of walking and it's not like hard work but it just kind of like over time if you do a lot of days in a row a lot of walking and bending over and stuff like that it definitely has an effect on your heavy weight training so i'm hoping work doesn't bother me too much because these next these next three or four weeks are going to be tough man they're going to be tough so just kind of like mentally preparing for that 
Um, I have a big test in a, like a week and a half. Uh, I'm a geologist, and I, I'm taking this test. If I pass it, I become what's called a professional geologist, a PG. So I get to put a couple letters after my name, and so I'm hoping you know after that. I can finally like get back to enjoying life a little bit instead of just working and lifting and studying. Um, that's why that's why the videos have kind of slowed down a little bit this past these past couple weeks because I've been really trying to hammer down on that. So anyway, just going on a rant, talking, just talking out of my ass, just saying random stuff. Um, that I I don't know why, but you know, so so snatches went pretty well. Now we're doing clean and jerks, and I definitely my clean and jerks this week were not were not great. Um, I kind of like what what I did last week during max out week was I kind of cut some stuff out, like I cut heavy clean and jerks out on like Friday. I was supposed to do pretty heavy like doubles, and I ended up not doing them. Just because I wanted to focus on maxing out my other stuff, and my body was feeling pretty beat up. So, you know, I took the, the cowardly way out, and I think I'm paying for it because my, my, my cleans kind of feel like shit right now. So, hopefully we can get that straightened out. Uh, Friday, Friday they were a little bit better, but you'll see in the second session they were a little bit better, but, you know... This uh, first session from Monday, they weren't they weren't the most amazing things. I wasn't super impressed with myself. So, working up 50 kilos, 70 kilos. Then we're gonna go 85 kilos, and then to the 95 kilos, which I just do. That's pretty much my top weight. So I just put the put the plates on and then go straight into it. You know, when I'm warming up, I don't like to take a ton of rest because it's I'm working up the light weights anyway. So it is what it is. So. There's Burba getting him a goddamn shot. Jesus. Killing me. Oh, maybe it was... I don't remember what the hell the complex is. I guess we'll find out here together. I guess it's power... Maybe it's power clean and three jerks. That's probably what it is. Yeah. So I misspoke earlier. So here's the first set of four. Power clean and three jerks at 95. Jerks are jerks are feeling awesome, especially now that my shoulders are feeling pretty good. Uh, the jerks have been have been really good. If I clean it, I feel like I can jerk it, which is a really nice feeling. Um, so hopefully we can carry that into the competition here in five weeks. Yeah, just kind of. I mean, you see that power clean. It just looks pretty pretty uninspired, I guess you could say. <laughs> Just kind of like, yeah, it just fucking feels heavy for some reason. This is me off. <laughs> that 95 kilos feels heavy. I mean, I'm getting it high, but just kind of an unathletic looking power clean. I don't know. Like, look at that. Ugh. Never settle, guys. Never settle for let anything less than perfection when it comes to trying to hone your craft, you know. Obviously, in day-to-day -day life, don't be a snob like that. But when it comes to practice and practicing your hobby and what you want to do and what you want to be good at, you know, never be satisfied. At least that's how I try to think. It can always be a little bit better. Now, I don't get super, I don't get super like down on myself and hard on myself. If I have a miss or something, it is what it is. Just be better next time and, and figure out why I went wrong and fix it so that's kind of my approach when it comes to weightlifting like i don't get super pissed if if i have a missed lift it's more of like okay dumbass what did you do all right no big deal let's fix it that's how i try to tackle things so we got i think four sets of three or something at 125 for back squat and i mean pretty feeling look how slow these are jesus so you can tell, I mean, my body is just feeling it from the weekend and from the prior week. So for the 10th time this video, the deload week has been good. <laughs> it looks like on this set, the legs woke up a little bit and those were a little bit better, but Jesus. 
Let's see. Let's see what Trent does here. Eh. Eh, a little bit better. Eh, fine, I guess. That was a pretty good set. So, and then the last thing on this session was like a couple sets of 10 of weighted sit-ups. I'm supposed to do weighted decline sit-ups like on the glued ham raise machine, but ever since uh, I hurt my back deadlifting a, f a few weeks ago, that hasn't felt the greatest on my back. It just kind of like really compresses the spine and the lower back. So I've just been doing regular sit-ups, no big deal still pretty much does the same thing it's just not quite as much of a stretch so i got 15 kilos behind my head i'm trying not to i'm trying not to like use my arms to like pull on the plate it doesn't feel great on the neck i try to just let it hang there and it makes it you know if the weight's a little bit behind your head it makes it a lot harder and that was a tough set so then i went down to just 10 kilos i'm holding two five kilo plates because the smaller plates a little bit better they don't hit the ground that's the most annoying part about those big plates. So that was this session. It was nice to get back in the gym after the uh, long weekend of like hanging out with family and walking a lot and just, you know, taking a couple days off. So it felt good to get back in the gym. And then this video is about to transition into the second session. Uh, and it's from Friday. I trained every day in between. Um, I just was it was like light stuff like Tuesday it was kind of a similar similar session but but pulls instead of squats like like always and then Wednesday I was supposed to take the day off but I ended up just coming in and doing some bodybuilding some like rehab stuff for my shoulders and just moving around kind of like active recovery so here's the second session from Friday I'm warming up trying to do these trying to warm up the hips and the hamstrings and stuff and this day was a little bit, the, the intensity went up a little bit. I think I went up to like 85 kilos on snatch for triples. And then uh, clean and jerk doubles up to like 110. So it felt good to get a little bit heavier weights on again. And the squats, I think I went on, I think I did four sets of three at like 152 and a half. So it was, it was a nice prep for for coming in and hitting it hard next week because Monday it's right back to it I mean I got like four sets of triples at like 102.5 kilos and power cleaning three jerks at like 115 or 120 kilos I mean it's, it's gonna be tough so stay tuned for that definitely I'm gonna try to I mean work might be a little busy and I'm still I got that test coming up so it's like I'll try to record one session at least and get one session out um, but as, as of right now, until my until my, I pass my test, I'm, I'm going to pass it. I believe in myself. Got to believe in yourself. I'm going to pass it. On October 9th, I'm going to pass this geology test, and I'm going to be a professional geologist. I am manifesting that into existence. So after I pass my test, we can get back to focusing more on making good videos and lifting hella weight. Uh, as the kids say these days, on God, for real, for real, no cap on a stack. Jesus Christ, I'm a boomer. I know, I know. Uh, so here we go. Jesus. Uh, oh, what do we got there? Whoa. It was me. It was me. I made all that goddamn noise. I missed behind myself. Like I said, you make, you know, no big deal. Warming up. I missed behind. Okay, I know what I did. Let's fucking fix it. It's pretty, you know, it's easy. So I, I, I do 70 kilos again, and I make sure that it's done right. And then we can move up and wait. So much better. It's uh, Today it was two power snatches plus a snatch up to 85 kilos. So I wanted to make sure this set was done right before I moved up and wait. Oh, did I miss again? God dang, I kind of overcompensated. See, I missed that I missed that last one behind me and then I missed that one in front of me. So I'm like, all right, no big deal. 80 kilos, just hit that for one because I'm so close to the working weight anyway. 
So now we got 85 kilos, and I did this for, for quite a few sets. Um, I think four sets in total, and they felt pretty good. Wait, why did I full snatch that? Am I on am I on crack? Like what am I talking about? Maybe it was just three I guess it was just three snatches? God dang, I'm a horrible content creator. I don't even know what I fucking did. <laughs> I thought I had powers. Maybe not. I guess it was just full snatches. Okay, Trent, okay, Jesus Christ. Anyway. Maybe I'm thinking of Saturday. I'm thinking of Saturday. I'm recording this on Sunday. I'm thinking of what I did yesterday. This from Friday, Trent. You freaking idiot. So. Oh, went up to 90 kilos. Wow, wow. Okay, Trent. Wow, feeling spicy. And Thomas is fucking with me in the background. He's uh, stomping as I land, trying to time it up. <laughs> pretty funny but it also kind of fucking pisses me off no i'm just kidding <laughs> no, i'm cussing a lot today oh another miss yeah it's thomas's fault because he was messing with me i blame that one on him and then he felt bad and then he didn't do it again i put him in his spot not actually he's a tall boy i don't want to mess with him so we just make it do a fourth rep who cares make that shit Moving on to cleaner jerks. Oh, you see Thomas over there. He's been coming in quite a bit. It's been nice to lift with him because he's got him yawning while I'm freaking recording this. Sorry, sorry. Apologies, apologies. I need a freaking drink of water. I should stop recording and get a drink of water, but god dang, I only got three minutes left. What a finish! I'm kind of a I'm kind of in a weird ass space today, if you can tell. Uh, I'm a little crazy. Uh so anyway, warming up for clean jerks. 50, 70, 90, 100, whatever. I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> I'm just talking at this point. I'm kind of going crazy, to be honest. So hopefully you enjoy listening to a man go crazy as he records himself lifting weights. What a weird world we live in. 70. Bang. Dang, I look fast. Holy shit. Look how fast I'm moving. That's crazy. Look at that. You guys ain't never seen anybody lift that fast, have you? Oh, the power of speeding up the video. So 90 kilos. Like I said, if you if you know if you compare these to the to the session earlier in this video, uh, I'm moving a lot better. That jerk was a little weird. I didn't quite push myself under like I'm supposed to. I didn't bend that back knee. So let's fix that if we can. A little bit better. I mean, it's lightweight. So it's not quite... It doesn't quite force me to do that, but when it starts getting heavier, you're forced to push yourself under a little bit, so... Hopefully in these later sets they look a little bit better. I don't even freaking remember. So let's just let's watch together. Let's see what Trent does. Not bad, not bad. It could be a little faster on the turnover and that clean. Jerk wasn't bad. So like I said, just clean and jerk doubles. Clean and jerk doubles are fun. Thomas being an idiot in the background again. <laughs> Like, jerks are solid. Jerks are feeling awesome. Are 105 kilos. I think I take this for a set, and then I think I go up to 110, and I think that's it. It was a good day. Because I'm doing all this beltless, so it's a little bit harder, you know. Um, you know, 110 beltless, it... it it's a nice little extra challenge to do it beltless. Um, yeah, see, that was a weird jerk. 
see you shaking, shaking my head. So I'm like, all right, Trent, God dang it, do better. So 110, and I think these were a little bit better. And this is pretty much the, the end of the session that I recorded. I ended up doing some uh, clean pulls too after this, but I didn't feel like recording them. Sorry, sorry, not sorry. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit longer video, These this weird ass rant from this weird ass guy. Uh, I appreciate it if you've watched the video this long. Like I said, it's back to heavy weights after this episode. So stay tuned for more. Anyways, peace out.